up, bros? Welcome back to Paperboy Entertainment, the real Mike Cart. I got that pandemic swag, pandemic swag. I got that pandemic swag, pandemic swag. I got that pandemic swag, pandemic swag, pandemic. Thanks for stopping by, Mike Cart, Paperboy Entertainment. You're watching Paperboy Entertainment. Before I, we do anything this weekend, I feel like playing some arcade one up. So this is gonna be an arcade one up upload. That pandemic sway. Let's play some Street Fighter 2 arcade one up. Arcade one up. I haven't played it for like it's gotta be a year already or something. <laughs> Not like a year. Probably like it's gotta be like 10 months or something. I've been too busy playing the uh, the minis and all that and, and pandemic swag. Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, my cart's favorite. Here we go. All right, my real gamers, my game grinders, about to turn up. Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. Let's play a little bit of this. I'm just playing a little bit of this because I haven't played it in a while, and I want to get back in the uh, get back in the uh, Street Fighter mode right now. I just I just felt like playing it. So here we go. I don't know what I'm saying. No, I don't know what I'm doing, bro. We really gaming around here. Let's put on some tokens. We ain't e. Fagin, we eat ballin. I'll try to use a character I, I never really use. I'll try to use some Dowslim, I guess. Dowslim! Thanks for watching guys, let's play some Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition on the arcade one up. Yeah, you know, Chinese pretty easy, just throwing those kicks out. And that rubber kick. We got uh, Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, Dazzle, pretty cool character. The Indian character from India. What's up, Papa? You beat up the Chun Li, I see, huh? Just keep throwing that. I just keep the way I play with Dazzle's. I just keep throwing that fierce kick out. Just keep spamming them and the fierce punch and some fireballs. Sometimes I, I spam fireballs too. Okay, um, she's cornering me right now. Doing a good job at it. There goes the knee. Okay, yeah. So I forgot you got that too. The uh, spinning, uh, spinning headbutt. It's pretty strong, and the spear. I call that the spear. I don't know if that the yoga spear. Oh, should did the double. There we go. Oh, we got her. Yeah, so still waiting to uh, run upon a arcade one up killer instinct cabinet. Uh, when I see it, I was thinking, I'll, I'll probably just pick it up, but I haven't seen one out there. I've been going to Walmart, and, unless it's not going to be at Walmart, it's going to be at a different store. I have to go to a different store. But yeah, so uh, I'm probably, yeah, uh, I, I know I said I wasn't going to pick up any more arcade one-ups because they are, they are kind of uh, high-tech pieces of crap made out of like particle board and basically like a a big emulator 
an arcade in there. Um, yeah, I don't know why they couldn't just make a full, like a, a tall one, like the other one that's over here. My uh, my multicade and my Neo Geo. I wish they could make a tall arcade one up and just charge more, like charge like what, like 800. I don't know if they could set it for a grand. I mean, I don't know the what game it is. But they're already making all the games uh, mini cabs. Yeah, I call these mini cabs. It's just what my car, my, my cart uh, labeled them as mini cabs. Cause they're like they're like mini, kind of like the, uh, the console minis. It's like a mini arcade, so it's, that's why I call it a mini cab. Well, it's coming after me. Oh, you got me. Just one little stick of butter up there before I just kill him. Let's try to just throw that kick at Zangief. You can time it just right. You can just you can get him dizzy. There we go. That was risky. Uh oh. I think I'm gonna win this one, guys. Oh my god. Thanks for subscribing, guys. I see my new subscribers out there. You guys rock. Welcome to Paperboard Entertainment. Welcome to the channel, The Real Mike Cart. I just updated my uh, my banner and I updated the logo a little bit. If you look at the if you're looking at the channel, Tress McGuile. Yeah, we're just playing uh, miscellaneous uh, random play random people right now. Street Fighter guys. So now we're gonna do some Guile. Guile was like my favorite character. When I first saw Street Fighter in the arcade, it was at uh, Peter Piper Pizza. And uh, actually, yeah, no, yeah, it was Peter Piper Pizza. Cause I don't remember seeing it at Chuck E. Cheese. It was Peter Piper Pizza, and then we saw it at Diversions. When uh, Diversions was a big chain in San Antonio, and now there's only one that survived the uh, the arcade wars, I guess. If there was, I think was there arcade wars? I guess there was, because there was a lot of arcade rooms back in the day all over town. And San Antonio actually was a nice hub of arcade rooms. So was Austin. Remember, we would go to Austin and go to the malls and things looking for arcades. Now, we were little back then. We would just go if, like, if our family was was going on vacation or something. And if we like happened to stop, you know, at, at the mall or something, and you run into our arcade room, you ask your, your parents for money to play some arcaders. Gonna pow drive him into the dust. Yo, win. It's the weekend, guys. Stay tuned for Mike Cut's vlogs. I appreciate all your support. I appreciate you guys commenting your your good comments and your thumbs ups, even your thumbs downs. Thanks for supporting the channel. I hear they're trying to take away thumbs downs. And if they do, how, how are how are the haters gonna support the channel? I mean, how and how are the people that really like the channel gonna support the channel? You know what I'm saying? Like YouTube, what YouTube's really trying to do, I think, guys. I mean, it's not a video about that, but I think they're trying to again. Uh, they're trying to uh, make it harder for creators to uh, spread their videos around their platform. Is basically what they're doing. Be it uh, good, bad horrible content whatever you call it it's all supposed to be for us guys it was supposed to be about us not them oh where did we go wrong anyways back to the game started going into rage mode somehow all right here we go we're going full throttle guile it's also one of my favorite stages right here it's elephants and the noise they make. I know some people say it's annoying, but I love it. It brings life to the stage, you know? So basically, the way I fight with Guile against the computer is I play defense. Not really too much offense. I can do offense, but it's risky and I just want to win. 
So I, I just spam the uh, sonic booms. You gotta just watch out for the enemy's moves. Don't let them get too close to you is, is actually another trick. Keep that fierce kick flying. Keep the fierce uh, fireballs. Or you can just make sure just to keep the fireballs changed up. Short, medium, uh, fierce. And uh, yeah, I'm using the ball, the, the, uh, using the ball top right now. I'm not using the Mortal Kombat uh, joystick uh, bat top. That's what I usually do is I put the bat top on and play Street Fighter. But uh, I can play both ways. Let's change them out right now. How about let's change them out? We got time. Wait, flips over. I'm just gonna do a little animated switch over for the bloody Dazzlum. We're switching out the ball top for the bat. Oh, hurry up! Straight up uppercuts. Straight up uppercuts. And we'll just sweep the car into oblivion. You just won Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, Guile. What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna break up this, beat up this car. That's what I'm gonna do. Kyle, that wasn't yours, it was just a demo. I don't care. This is also the first time that Guile got an actual like manly face, because if you place the first Street Fighter, it looks kind of weird. Like, like the face looks, it, it's supposed to, it looks, it's supposed to be like an anime kind of style, Guile. But it comes off as a little child, or like as a kid or something. Looks like a kid or something. Oh! Yeah, so this is where they made the, they changed a lot of the faces on the characters to make them look more, more manly, more Street Fighter-ish. Whoa, flash kick. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Oh, not today. So yeah, that was uh, what you just saw right there was uh, jab punches into a fierce throw, which you can do if you time it just right. I know people, oh, I don't know people, but I've seen people do it like every single time. I don't know how they're doing that. I wonder if, it, if it's a mod or something, or if, it, if it's just that good. You gotta have incredible like joysticks and uh, joystick skills, uh, hand-eye coordination, and you gotta actually know like every sprite. I guess. <laughs> you would have to like by heart and by memory know exactly what each character is gonna do at that time to do that. Oh, the human brain's amazing. So yeah, fighting games. I think. Uh, I well, I don't think fighting games are my favorite uh, genre of games. Uh, I would say role-playing games are second, uh, and then like Mario platformers third. Um, I don't know. I, I might be lying because I play some weird games sometimes. But like Five Nights at Freddy's is like one of my favorite games. So that's actually I don't know. That's like in slot two. And that's like a, what do you call that, a survival horror, jump scare, right? Jump scare game. Oh. These guys are just trying to corner me all the time. Yeah, 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 E Honda. Round two, fight! Oh! I forgot how to take out Ihan. I was like, uh, Sonny Boom to a forward flash kick. And that seemed to work. Oh, yeah, on this version, Gal has that weird, uh, forward kick. Oh, there he has that knee, too. Whoa. Sorry guys, sorry golf fans, I just, you gotta really be concentrating and 
thinking about other stuff. But thanks for watching, bros. This is the Arcade One Up playlist, bros. Let's try some, uh, uh what is the thing? Mike Tyson, I mean, uh, Balrog. I'm just gonna try to knock him out. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I just punched him in the face. Holy moly! Whoa, whoa, hold on there, guy. This guy is... This guy is impossible. Oh my god. You need, like, some kind of projectile throwing guy. So you gotta switch over to one of these projectile throwing guys. Oh my god. I need to practice more with Balrog. I used to be way more better with him. You failed miserably. You failed miserably. Alright, here we go, guys. We're gonna go in with the projectile throwing uh, Saget. Saget? Faggot. Yeah. I think we just kick him in the head or something. I don't know why they didn't put uh, Street Fighter Turbo on here. I mean, they put Super Turbo, but they didn't put the original Turbo. Like, it's more like a Champion Edition Turbo. And I was hoping that... Oh, it was Hyper Fighting. I was hoping that Hyper Fighting would be on here. But Arcade one up. Hey, what you should do, you should release a Hyper Fighting... Uh... Hyper Fighting Cabinet, the pink one, it'll be perfect, uh, 90s style, 90s arcade, and uh, I think it, it'll just be awesome to have a, a hot pink, um, Street Fighter 2, Hyper Fighting, and you can add in more games too, such as the Accelerators, you could put Accelerator uh, Red Wave, Blue Wave, and Rainbow, and I, I would pick that arcade up in a minute. I have all those accelerators sitting right next to this one. So yeah, that's another idea you got. You get if you're watching this channel, uh, RK one up. I don't know if they watch this. But... So moving right on along, and it's block of time. And it looks like we're just uh, able to kick people in the face. Doing that. It's called that cheese. Cheese it. Like Bender from a uh, from Futurama, cheese it. Oh no, it's getting too close to me. Oh whoa, whoa, he's doing his Blanca mess. Get out of here, Blanca. Oh, <laughs> I saw that in slow mo, bro. Tiger, I'm dying. <coughs> Fuck, I'm dead. Oh, you. Can I just please just kick him in the face? You want me to bring out uh, Ken, don't you? These guys want to fight Ken. I'm just like sucking right now. I haven't played for so long. Oh. There we go. Say good kick. You still want to die. Oh my god, bros. I don't know if the, the bat is making me work play worse. Alright. Still got some time. Oh, I forgot. I think he's the most cheesiest guy ever in Bison. Game over. Round one. Fight.
And that's called the, uh, it's the Strong Psycho, the Strong Psycho Missile or whatever, right? The Psycho Crusher with the, uh, you make sure to, as soon as you come out of it, that animation, hold back and press Fierce to throw them. And that's a little, uh, super cheese that I like to use every now and then. And Bison. Thanks for watching, guys. You're watching The Real Mike Cart. And like I said, we're just playing some Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition on the arcade one up because I just felt like playing. We might play some uh, Mortal Kombat. And then, yeah, we'll be back. We got Mike Cart's toys. We got Mike Cart's vlogs. We, we got a lot of stuff to do. We're chilling, bros. Oh, and I'm dying. Oh, wow. I hit those two in a row. Boom. boom. That's not possible. Actually, it is possible. Good one, guy. Good one. You got me. You got me. Should have tried that. I don't know why I'm trying that uh, that crane punch or whatever it is. So yeah, M. Bison is also one of the characters that I was surprised um, that I mean that made me like uh, Street Fighter Champion Edition. But uh, yeah, Gaio was the first one character that I, that I really liked from Street Fighter, the first Street Fighter. And then it was uh, it was Blanca, Gaio and Blanca, Chutney. Then when Champion Edition came out, it, of course M. Bison and. Um, just in Bison, and then uh, later on, like a few years later, I started getting good with Vega, and uh, Vega became my favorite character, one of my favorites. It took me a long time to get uh, good with Vega. It took me a couple years, and I had a friend that was really good at Vega, show me really show me how to how to charge those moves and. Um, how to take advantage of the air throws and when when to grab them in the air and when to slash the claws and you know Vega's kind of hard to master so and it, but if you can master Vega you can kill an opponent with like one two three moves maybe and of course Ken and Ryu like to me they're like the cheesiest characters any character that has like projectiles and uppercut and uh, some kind of hurricane kick and you can find those characters all over uh, fighting games. They're like the, the easiest to play with and uh, the, the cheesiest too. Um, you can get really good with them also. I'm not saying that cheesy as isn't their bad or anything because I like them. I like the characters too, but they're just like the, the cheesiest as you can see. So I might have to, have to approach this differently. And if not, I'm gonna just bring out Ryu. <laughs> Holy moly, bro. Busted out the gate with that uppercut. You're out of here, buddy. Who do you think you're fucking with, Papa? This is Mike Cart from the Barrio S. Cerro Miedo Puto. 
Andele la chingada. Oh, Whoa! Just busting out the gate. This guy's like turned up or something. It's supposed to be on easy or something. Well, I don't know. I think when it's if the factory is three stars, right? Three or four stars. Oh, burning death, blue flame. And I call that the fear of bison. Alright, here we go guys. Boss run. Thanks for watching. I'm not gonna talk anymore. Let's get started with our weekend. Let's get started with this boss run. It's Mike Card. Thanks for watching, bros. I'm out of here.
Oh.